There's panic in the Kremlin. Putin's team doesn't know what to do with the situation. Russian President Vladimir Putin's quick reaction to the raid by volunteers of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion on the territory of Russia's Belgorod and Kursk regions indicates panic in the Kremlin. Putin has already had time to comment on the breakthrough of fighters of the Freedom to Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion in Belgorod and Kursk regions. He called the raid by the volunteers an attempt to disrupt elections in Russia and Ukraine's desire to get Trump cards for the exchange of territory in possible negotiations. The statement of the Russian president was explained by the volunteer of the Freedom to Russia Legion, Alexei Baranovsky, on the air of Channel 24. According to him, the attitude of the Russians to the raid of volunteers depends on their position on the war in Ukraine. The fact that Putin has already made a statement, although even a day has not yet passed from the beginning of the campaign is a sign that there is panic in the Kremlin. They did not expect the vote to go this way at all, Baranovsky explained. According to him, the Kremlin elite doesn't know what to do with this situation and is starting to fuss. They are even coming up with terrorist attacks on behalf of Alexei Navalny who died in a colony on February the 16th. Putin's regime is bloody, so you can expect any kind of crime from him. The main thing is that Russian volunteers are ready to fight it. We call on all Russians to join our fight, Baranovsky said. Earlier, a video appeared online in which people calling themselves Navalny's militant squads announced terrorist attacks in Russia during Putin's re-election. The FSB's pattern is clearly visible here. It's no secret that Putin came to power by blowing up houses in Moscow. Now the Kremlin can repeat this bloody spectacle, Baranovsky added. He emphasized that a false flag operation is a classic of the Soviet and Russian security services, just as they acted in Soviet times against rebels in western Ukraine and the Baltic states, respectively the same plots Putin's regime uses inside Russian politics. For the third day in a row, in the border regions with Ukraine, Russian volunteer troops continue their raids. Battles in the Kursk and Belgorod regions persist, and it is expected that there will be shelling of Russian occupiers' military targets in these regions, so the call for local residents to evacuate urgently remains relevant. As of this morning, there were reports of battles in the area of the village of Spodaryashin in the Belgorod region. The pro Kremlin telegram channel MASH wrote that the so called subversive reconnaissance group, which the resource refers to as Ukrainian, approached from the site of the Ukrainian village of Papivka. And there the battle began. The Russian army allegedly deployed aviation to repel the attack. So-called Russian correspondents claim that heavy equipment is being used to attack Espodoryushin. In addition, battles for Tyatkino in the Kursk region continue for the third day. Furthermore, a volunteer of the Freedom of Russia Legion, Alexei Baranovsky, made an interesting proposal, which, in his opinion, could be put forward to the Russian President Vladimir Putin. He said that the volunteers are ready to withdraw from Tyatkino if the Kremlin dictator withdraws the occupiers from the Ukrainian Melitopol. They are leaving Melitopol, and we are returning Tyatkino to them. In my opinion, this would be quite a good deal, Baranovsky said according to him, the situation in the border regions with Russia is developing very dynamically. Fighting on the outskirts of Tyatkino continues. Thus, there are battles both in the Korsk region and in the Belgorod region. Our special liberation operation has been ongoing for the third day, Baranovsky added, since early morning, Belgorod and surrounding settlements in the region have been under shelling. Footage of a burning car allegedly hit by shelling was posted online. The Russian Volunteer Corps, in turn, declares that a military serviceman of the Russian army, Dmitry Oksayevich Galishkin was killed in the car that was shelled after yesterday's warning. Representatives of the Russian Volunteer Corps urged residents of the Belgorod and Korsk regions to evacuate again this morning, as strikes on military targets of the occupiers are being prepared. Your leadership has taken no measures for your protection or evacuation, while shelling of peaceful cities and villages of Ukraine is ongoing. We are forced to open fire in response on military targets in border regions. Evacuate immediately, the statement said.